Reedy, we gotta go to the bunker. We shouldn't stay here. It's cramped and dusty. I can hardly breathe. It's horrible. We'll get through this, Reedy. Miss Clark said it's not safe here. The only certain thing is death. It's safer than out there, anyway. We could run and hide in the woods. No. Or we could run back to the orphanage. I'm sure Sarah and Maria are waiting for us. We're stuck in here. Why don't you understand that? Anyone still out there is going to die. All of them. Little girls aren't invincible. They get blown to pieces too. I... I didn't mean to. Rini, I, I didn't mean to scare you. Rini, I'm so sorry. Just forget what I said. We're okay. We're safe here. I promise. What can I do to comfort Rini? Maybe there's something nice on. Uh, all right, let's do something Miss Clock totally wouldn't <laughs> approve of. 
the day's fighting resulted in mass fatalities with unknown casualties. <laughs> it is only certain that aerial bombardment has not ceased. <laughs> You like shadow plays, don't you? Look, Rini. <laughs> there's the elephant. Oh, dear. to cheer Rini up. Guess who I am? Well? You don't look like you at all. How about now? No, you don't even have bobbles. And where's Spot? Hmm? Where am I supposed to get a bobble hat? Not to mention a green super caterpillar. <laughs> no bobbles. No bobbles. <laughs> well, look at that. Isn't that the sock I was looking for last week? Bet I can't find the other one. Socks belong together, but there's always one missing. <laughs> yeah, it's actually kind of sad. when he shows up. Someone like Spot isn't that easy to find. This could make a fine sock spot. Ta-da! Today's show is all about audience requests. I want a story about silence. Really? <laughs> no! Please tell me the story of Spot and Sadwick. All right. So this is the story of Sadwick. And his world's silence. Sure. And his world. Eh-aw. <laughs> Sorry. <clears throat> silence. Sadwick was a clown who never laughed. He also didn't want people to laugh at him. So he left his grandpa, his brother, and the circus to see the world. But not alone. Because with him was his best friend. Spot. Spot also helped Sadwick. And he did it by changing into all kinds of things. Eventually, they made their way to the King of Silence. You need a crown and something for the prosophy. One thing at a time. First, my crown. Ah, there it is. Hey, presto! The king of silence. He was a good king. But he got very sick. And along with him, the land began to suffer. Fields withered. Walls and cities crumbled. Everything decayed and fell apart. If only the king would recover. 
Because if he did, so would Silence. Sadwick wanted to bring him an elixir of life, just as an old oracle had foreseen. John is not old. Right. She's pretty timeless, actually. And mysterious. Where's her crystal ball? Why, hello there, crystal ball. Did Shauna have a ball like that? Sure. Somewhere. The mysterious Shauna foretold that Sadwick was destined to save the king, but also that he would destroy silence. Of course he would never believe that. He wanted to bring an elixir of life to the king, right? Yes, but when he arrived at the castle, he saw that Shauna was right. Do you remember what awaited him in the throne room? Watt turns everything around without actually moving. There was no king in the throne room. Only a mirror. And when Sadwick dared to look into the mirror, he didn't see a sad clown with a bubble hat. Instead, there was a boy, struck with illness, ready to open his eyes after a long time, or to leave them shut forever. That boy was you. You were sick and sleeping, and Sadwick's spot in silence? That was all just a dream. Yeah. What, what did Sadwick do? He smashed the mirror and doomed his world. To save you, you were the king of silence. Ah! <laughs> Greeny! Under heavy fire. Uh, uh, damn it. Rini? Rini, are you okay? Rini! Heavy artillery bombardment.